Bozo, the world's most famous clown. Who? I'm such a funny clown. I like to travel around and round the world. This is my home. I always seem to roam. In the rocky ship I tour. I explore the ocean floor, but you must know I never go unless you come along. Bozo, Bozo, always laughs, never frown. Bozo, Bozo, Bozo the clown. Oh, Nelly, have we got a jumping, bumping show for you here under the Bozo Big Top today? Not only is my pal Professor Tweety Booper out, but also today, Carl Carlson, that famous entertainer from Europe, is going to stop by. Clank the Tin Can Lions here for all kinds of fun. Another try at our Bojo Bonus Treasure Chest, son, and all kinds of exciting things. So I hope you'll be set to go for a real rootin' tootin' time here under the Bojo Big Top. So I tell you, maybe I better join my pals there because we'll be jumping some more in another minute. Let's go through it again, everybody. Here we go, happy day. Whoopsie daisy. You know, Clanky, that Leonardo, he knew everything. Now we have to, we have to put in the Professor butterflies. Professor Tweety Pooper, Clank, what in the world are you doing? We have to put the butterflies in now. And the other butterfly, and it, uh, uh, Professor, I, I hate to tell you, but what in the world are you doing right here in the, the center of the Bozo TV? <laughs> Mr. Bozo, we, we are very much in a hurry because we want to launch this rocket up in the air. Real high, up there. And, and I, I hate to tell you, Professor, but it's impossible. How are you going to launch a rocket right from in the center of the Bozo circuit? But we have to make it fly, right? Right. Mr. Leonardo da Vinci, he knew that all. Who? Who? Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, you the know. famous painter. And sculpture and inventor and everything. And he told me if it flies, it has to fly. And he That makes sense. If it flies, it has to fly. And the birds fly, right? Right. These are feathers. Birds fly with feathers. Put the butterfly in, Professor. And butterflies. Wait a minute, you need, you can't put butterflies and birds' wings in there. You need, you need hydrogen and liquid oxygen and all, all that, all the fuel to shoot a rocket. Oh, oh, oh. Did you put the balloon in, Bozo? The, the balloon is in, yes. And uh, we have little birds. You see, we have to have birds which fly, see? Woo. Woo. Professor, I, I think you're up the wrong track because that thing will never fly with, with, with fly. You'll see it fly. Yeah, yeah, but you, you gotta have hydrogen and all the, all the liquid Woo. and oxygen and, and all kinds. Of how are you going to fly it by putting feathers and high and butterflies and balloons? He knows it, and that's the way we go. And in this book, it says, and whoop, and we, uh, oh, I forgot. We have to put some more air. You're going to put more air in a rocket? Now, this is the last straw. That's the silliest thing I ever did hear of. Now, wait. Mr. Clank, you, you think it's going to fly now? Just if you put the bird feathers Do you feathers think feathers? this rocket bird is going to take and, off and, and right in the circuit? How will it fly? Yeah, well, yeah. Mr. Right. Clank says it's going to fly. We got the wings, the birds, the, the feathers, and the. the oh, 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 we got it everywhere. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I think maybe you have too much fun or something because you're a little kablooey. Wait a minute. I suppose you're going to have a countdown too, regular, right? Oh, that that doesn't make it fly, but you know if you shoot. Fly, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll go along with you, but I still don't think it's going to fly. Are you ready? Fun. Well, you want to have a countdown? Why don't we have a countdown like they do? Really? Oh, you mean like they do when they? Oh. You you think that would, be good would you please? But it won't fly. You got butterfly wings and you got bird feathers. All right, all right, I'll go along with you. Would you help us count? Close down? the door, Would Professor. Would you help us Just do it home? Close right, the door good. and ignite it. All right, he's going to ignite it. Would you count down, please, with all, all right, the words and the words? 10, 9, 8, 8 9, 7, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! I didn't see it with my own eyes. See, that's terrific. He, he's right, see? He's yes, right. Le Leonardo's yeah, yeah. right. That's and then the that's truth. the rocket book, and it says <laughs> that's the way. You know, with the butterflies, you can always make it fly. Yeah. It's still flying up there. Oh, wait. Ooh. What's that? 
a parachute coming right down here, and there's a message tied on it. Let's see what the message is, Professor. Wait, I, I have the lights here. I have the lights. Oh, 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 oh. Shall, I, shall I open it up for you, Mr. Poo? We'll fly it down. It says, <laughs> well done, yours, Leonardo. <laughs> Boys and girls, I'm riding in my, my little car. Oh, you can't see me because I'm invisible. You don't believe that I could be invisible? Well, it happened to me once. Sure, I'm driving that car, that's why it's moving. Well, let me tell you about the adventure that I call Go Go Bozo. What you doing, Bozo? I'm looking for a job. I'm getting tired of being a clown. This sounds like a dandy job. Listen, wanted assistant to help mad scientist. Short hours, short pay. I'm going to look into this, Butch. I'll just ring the bell. I got you, sucker. A uh, uh, volunteer, boss. Boy, oh boy, such a mad scientist I am. <laughs> a mad, mad, mad. Gentlemen, observe my latest experiment. I have invented this atomic descending radar, this Kumbuba radar, with a capital BOO! Observe, gentlemen, I give the chicken one little drink from this bottle and wow! <laughs> the chicken is invisible. You couldn't see the chicken. Whoa, wee! The chicken just disappeared. <laughs> Ain't I a mad type scientist? There's something creepy about this place, Mr. Mad Scientist. If you don't mind, I'm gonna blast out of here! Bring that clown to me. I will try my experiment on him, yeah? Turn me loose. You're stretching the costume. Don't let that clown go, Leroy. Oops. I've been grafted. Go get that funny face clown, Leroy! I will use strategy! 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 <laughs> Trick! I will pour a little of my formula into the lemonade! Wait! Hold it! <laughs> you look so hot and tired! How about a nice cold glass of lemonade? Lemonade? Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, that lemonade sure tasted funny. Aha! And now we will see if my experiment works on people. So just a doggone minute. Oh, what happened? Oh, where am I? You are invisible. My experiment is a success. Oh, such a mad scientist I am. I'm getting out of this creepy place. Don't let Bozo get away, Leroy. Grab him. Oh, but boss, I can't grab him if I can't see him. So, if you can't see me, huh? Wow, that gives me an idea. Leroy, he's getting away. Look, the door is opening. After him, Leroy. I sure hope I can start this scooter. I'll blast that clown on you. Well, now, what's going on around here? Oh, the cops. Oh. All right, Speedy, pull over to the car. Oh, hi, Captain. Sir? All right, you. Where's the fire? There's nobody driving this contraption. Ossifer, them crooked crooks made me invisible. Uh, who, who said that? I did, Your Honor. Can I borrow your gun? Oh, 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 oh I flipped me lid. Oh, I'm cracking up. You fathead! You let the clown get away. Oh, but boy. Come in. It's him. Mr. Mad Scientist? Don't shoot! I was only kidding! Okay, but you gotta make me back like I was. Okay, take a drink of this. 
Will this make me visible? Oh, yeah! Already I can see you. No, this is more like it. You're not angry with me. Shucks, no. I ain't mad. Okay, we drink a toast to it. Hold it, mister. You're drinking the wrong stuff. <laughs> You see what I have right over here? These are my special magic beads. And what I do is I'll play a little game with some of my pals. I wonder if there's anybody here who'd like to play a special little game with me on this. Would you like to? All right, how about Judy? Come on down here for a minute, okay? See what I have? Now, these are ordinary beads, right? But they are special magic beads. Now, I want you to just turn around and tell me, tell me a number, any number you want. Two is the number you want. You sure two is the number? All right. What I want you to do is quickly hold the bottom of this and just hold those beads. And count the number of beads in your hand. Two beads right over there. Good for you. That's sort of a little magic we like to play here in the circus. Who else would like to try our special Bozo magic beads? All right, Richard, come over here. Richard, you see these beads? I just want you to turn around now very closely. Look at the beads. Look at Bozo and look me right in the eyes. Now tell me your favorite number from 02 up to 14 if you want. Any number. 13 is the number you pick. All right, now quickly. Hold to the bottom of the beads, the very bottom right here. Look me in the eye. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo, pull. Now would you turn around please and count the beads in your hand. We'll count it with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13! Hey! That's fantastical, Richard! Thank you! It's all just a little magic we like to play, rather. We got time for one more? All right. Who else would like to try it? Have a little girl. Maureen, are you a pretty good? All right, come on down over here. There you go. You like these special magic beads? All right, now I want you to look at these beads very closely and very carefully. Now, the only thing is, I just happened to think of maybe the spell might break all of a sudden. So I think what I'd like to do is quickly ask you if you, if you can have a, spe a special riddle. You know a special riddle? How about if I ask you a riddle? Can you think you can sort of uh, be stumped by it? What's one bow you cannot tie? Bo Peep, no, Bozo. You can tie a Bozo. How about that? Thank you very much, Maureen. Why don't you just sit right Stop down there the and thank you very much for playing our Stop special the magic second, begin. Bozo. Stop. Oh, the That's workers second. here again. Now, what is it you're interrupting the Bozo Big Top this time for? Bozo, I'm a genius. <laughs> you're a genius? Well, what do you mean you're a genius? Take this pad, Bozo, and take this pencil. Uh-huh. Take a number from one to a thousand. Put it on that paper, don't let me see it, and I'll tell you what you have on that paper. This is unbelievable. Take any number and write it on Any this number at all, Bozo. One, two, a thousand. This is amazing. All right, I'll write a number down here. Okay, I'll write a number. Don't peek now. Don't I'm not peek. peeking, Bozo. Right, I got the number written down here. I'm gonna Just hold. hold it up, Bozo. All right, I'll fold it up. Don't let me see that no, number. You won't see it. All right, good. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Now, put it on the floor, Bozo. All right, I've got it on the floor. Put your foot over it, Bozo. <laughs> this is unbelievable. He thinks he's going to tell me the number. All right. Now I can tell you what you have on that paper, Bozo. All right. What do I have on the paper? <laughs> your foot. I have uh, some of my pals are already seated here in the center ring for a game that we have a lot of fun with called the Bozo Sock Race. Now, as you see, I want you to look closely at my players. There's Gene and Bobby and Sheriff. Now, Gene has gloves on, and so does Bobby and Sheriff. They all have gloves on, and they have a pair of socks right, right in front of them. Now, I want you to look at these socks. The object is very simple. What I want to see is who can put on that pair of socks the fastest. You know, it's simple as that, right? Of course, it'd be kind of easy if we did it this way, so you know what we do? We put a little blindfold on you. <laughs> oh, I tell you, we're the devil, I tell you. <laughs> we do. Now, we're going to put the blindfold on you, and then the one who can get both those socks on, look at them closely. They're all facing the side up to you, so I think it'll be good. I don't know. Let me just get it down so you can't peek now. All right, you cover it up. You can't see underneath there? Good. Let me get one on you there, Bobby. Okay, cover it up there. You can't see? All right, now we'll see if you can see Sherilyn. 
All right, there we go. Down there. All right, when I say go, what I want you to do, the first one that can get both pairs of socks on with the gloves, now that's the tricky part, it won't be our win. So ready, here we go. Good. Oh, there they go. There's one pair out there. Now, wait a minute. Here we go. It's going to be a close one. Wait a minute, it's going to be close. I don't know. Well, they got to be all the way up. It's not easy to do when you can't. It's hard enough to put on a pair of socks when you're when you're looking right. Hey, the boy, boy, just by a hair, Bobby. All right, take them off. You can all take your blindfolds off now. And I just want you to know that if you think that's easy, you try putting on a pair of socks with a pair of gloves on, and you'll see how hard it can be. But you all did ter terrific on that. So I tell you, for our winner, Bobby, we got a special uh, Hasbro flipper basket game that I know you'll enjoy. So you hold on to that. And my other pals are going to be happy with a full gift box of delicious, tasty, chocolatey chunky. The whole gift box for you. Once you try that extra thick chocolate, I know you'll enjoy it. One for you. And also, Gene, we have another one for you. So good luck to you, and thanks for playing our logo. Sock break. Call it. Call it. You know the worker who is playing a trick on Boozy before. Well, I have an idea of a special trick I can play on him. It sort of has to do with the, a magic plate. I have a couple of plates here. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Don't tell him, okay? Can you keep a secret? You see, I'm going to tell him that this is... I'm going to make him handsome by, by sort of... I uh, tell him just to rub this magic plate. But look what's on the bottom of his plate that I'm going to give him. Oh, <laughs> boy, is he going to be handsome. So don't say anything, all right? Just do that. Uh, Mr. Worker! Wait, have you seen him around? Mr. Did Worker! you call me Bozo? <laughs> Oh, I tell you, you know, you played a little trick on me before, so I thought I'd like to show you some magic. I want you to be handsome. I can be handsome, You certainly can. Now, look, I have a plate here. Now, what I want you to do is just, just by rubbing your hand quickly over the plate a certain way, you can make the plate float and everything, and it's a magic plate, and it will make you handsome. Do you think it can be done? Can I be as pretty as you, Bozo? <laughs> oh, cut it out, cut it out. All right, ready? Just do whatever I do. Just rub it up, and then rub it underneath here, and then you just go over here like that a little bit. Oh, you, you, you'll be handsome, all right. And then a little dab will do. Am I getting handsome now, Bozo? Oh, you'll be terrific. I can't see anything yet, Bo. Oh, oh, you're going to be handsome. <laughs> oh, you're terrific. Bozo? Just rub it. Just keep rubbing like that plate. Like this, Bozo? Yes. Huh? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let me, wait a minute. Do I look pretty now, Bo? Oh, I'd like to have you look at yourself and see how handsome you look. Just hold on. Of that mirror there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do you know what? This is the time of our Bozo Big Top Circus show to have our Bozo Bonus Treasure Chest game. Whoa, we Kazali a treasure chest of toys. Wow, we hope somebody wins our bonus lucky balloon game today. Where's Butch? First of all, we better find where Butch is. Butch, you over there? Do me a favor, please. Close your eyes real tight and pick out one of the, the numbers in the bag. Close your eyes real tight. There you go. Pick out one of the numbers and let's see. It's number 92. 92. Big number here in the circus. Number 92. 92. Anybody here in the circus? 92 must be here somewhere. All right, we'll give you one more chance. Did you see it over there? That's 102. All right. All right, one more time. Go ahead, Butch. Pick one more number. Close your eyes now. Here we go. And it's number 83. 83. Old oh, girl back there. Good. Come on down. There we have a, one of my pals all set up. Well, hi. Hi, Patty. How are you? Nice seeing you. You know how to do our bonus game. It has to do with the lucky balloons. Would you bring in the balloons, please, uh, Mr. Ringmaster? There we go. Just bring in the balloons. Is the special pin over here inside, Mr. Ringmaster? Good. All right, what I'd like to do right now is just show you that you have to guess a number from one to five, any lucky number you want, okay? Pick any number. Number two. All right, this little pin uh, will break any one of these balloons, and number two is in one of them. Which one do you think it is? Well, it's up to you, just whatever one you want. Think a minute now. Where do you think number two is? The number two is in one of these balloons. You try it and we'll see. Anyone you want. Go ahead. Anyone you want, pop anyone you want. Just go right for it, whatever one you want. You want to go for that red one. All right, there, there's a number popped up and rolled under the treasure chest. We'll see what... Oh, you were one off, Patty, one off. It was number three. But don't feel too bad because look what we have for you. I think you're going to enjoy a brand new Monopoly game you'll have some fun with. And thank you. This is close, just one off. Where, where, is, where is number number? 
It is in this one right here. Where do you think it is? There? All right, you th here, Mr. Ringmaster? All right, we'll try it. Is this what you get? <laughs> Come on, there. <laughs> there you go. Come on. There you go. I'd make a good spear fisherman, don't you think? It is, it is number two right inside that beautiful blue balloon. It's good. Well, we better add another prize to the treasure chest, Mr. Ringmaster, and have another go at our, our lucky balloon bonus game next time. Those giant boots going inside? whoa These are some giant boots that you can actually walk in and have all kinds of fun with. We'll place those on top of the treasure chest and have another try next time at our Bozo Bonus Treasure Chest Game! Oh, Nelly! And there's a special treat right here under the Bozo Big Top, ladies and gentlemen, that internationally famous juggler, Mr. Carl Carlson! <laughs> Mr. Bones of Tuscany Road. This is the most juggling you can do. You know how to do that. Let me help you. I'll help you. This is a fantastic juggling feat, and there's only one person, I think, on all America that does it. This is mouth juggling, and watch him go. Wowie Gazzoli! Can you really make music doing it that way? Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Let's see if we can do that. He said he's going to make music. And to the playing of that beautiful music, as the sun slowly sinks in the west, we'd like to remind you to join us next time for all kinds of exciting surprises here. Well, right. Fantastic! Let's do some juggling. Here we go. Right into it.